the most effective systems combine these strategies to surface the most relevant results. Because if you rely just on one approach, like vector search alone, your application might actually miss key information. For enterprise app applications, a hybrid approach ensures mission critical accuracy because good enough isn't good enough when making business decisions. Welcome back to the Azure Essential Show. I'm Aaron, and today I'm here with my colleagues Farzad Sanoval and Lana Tay. And today we're going to be diving into Azure AI Search and how it helps organizations build high-impact AI apps. Thank you so much for joining us, Farzad and Lena. Great to be here, Aaron. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. So, Farzad, let's start with the core concept here. When we talk about Azure AI Search, we're really talking about RAG, Retrieval Augmented Generation. And for our viewers who might be hearing this term for the first time, can you break that down for what RAG is and why it's so central to what Azure AI Search does? Absolutely, Aaron. RAG is essentially the way to connect AI models to your company's actual data so they can give you relevant, specific answers based on your business information. Think about it this way. If you're building an app using an AI model, you probably want to create an experience based on your own data not just what's publicly available online. So RAG makes that possible by introducing a retrieval step where your application pulls in relevant domain-specific information at query time. Then a language model like Azure OpenAI's GPT-40 generates a response based upon that information. Got it, that makes sense. So the quality of the retrieval is really critical here, right? Exactly. It's really the retrieval system that's really a make or break for RAG success. If you can't retrieve the right data, your generative AI responses just won't be accurate or useful. And that's where things get really, really interesting because there are multiple different ways to retrieve information. There's vector search, there's keyword search, re-ranking, and a lot more. And so the most effective systems combine these strategies to surface the most relevant results because if you rely just on one approach, like vector search alone, your application might actually miss key information. For enterprise app applications, a hybrid approach ensures mission critical accuracy because good enough isn't good enough when making business decisions. I couldn't agree with you more. And now it sounds like we've got all of these different retrieval strategies and enterprise requirements. Can you help us understand what Azure AI Search is and where it specifically comes into play here? Once again, great question, Aaron. So this is where Azure AI Search really shines. Azure AI Search is basically the retrieval foundation that handles all this complexity. It's what Fortune 500 companies rely on today to power their production, RAG, and generative AI applications. Azure AI Search delivers the accuracy, security, and scale that enterprises demand with deep integration across all of the Azure ecosystem. As mentioned earlier, it supports hybrid search, including vector search, keyword search, semantic re-ranking, and a whole bunch more customization. This really gives you the flexibility to use the best retrieval strategy for each query, ensuring your AI apps return the most relevant results. Got it, so that makes sense. It's handling the technical complexity of retrieval for these different enterprises. And speaking of enterprises, I know that enterprises tend to have some pretty strict requirements around things like security and compliance. Can you share with us a bit more about how Azure AI Search addresses these needs? Absolutely. That's really crucial for enterprise adoption. Azure AI Search is designed from the ground up to be secure, compliant, and scalable. But it's not just about meeting those requirements. It also gives you a feature-rich vector database and a full data ingestion pipeline. So you could ingest raw documents, index them inside of a vector index, and query your data at scale, all while maintaining that strong enterprise foundation. Plus, with native integrations across Azure AI Foundry, Azure OpenAI, and other Azure services, you get everything you need to build, fine tune, and deploy your AI solutions that actually work with your data. Wow, that sounds powerful and very comprehensive. And now that we've covered the technical foundation, can you walk us through some of the key benefits customers are seeing from Azure AI Search? 
Absolutely, Aaron. We're seeing some really exciting outcomes across different types of organizations. One big area is accelerating decision making. Knowledge workers can now query complex enterprise data just using natural language. What used to take hours now can happen in seconds. Another huge impact is in customer experience. You can deploy AI agents that understand your entire enterprise knowledge base, whether that's product manuals, policies, case histories, and they all deliver this consistent, accurate responses 24 seven while reducing support costs. Those are incredible examples. Are there any others that come to mind that you might wanna share? Definitely, I wanna mention two more. The first is compliance at scale. You can build AI agents that instantly reference current regulations, internal policies, and audit trails. This ensures that every response has the citations and the provenance to meet your organization compliance requirements. And then there's unlocking institutional knowledge. Think about all those decades of tribal knowledge sitting inside of your organization. Imagine you can convert that into searchable conversational AI that preserves expertise as teams evolve. Wow, thank you so much for sharing those. Those are very compelling examples, Farzad. I think they really paint a picture of the value here. Now, switching gears a little bit, Lena, for folks who want to get started with Azure AI Search, what resources are available to help them build their skills with AI? Oh, yeah, Aaron, this is really exciting stuff. And we have some fantastic learning resources designed especially for this. Whether you're completely new to RAG or you're ready to deep dive into building with AI Search, we've got you covered. One of our key offerings is a scaling plan on Microsoft Learn called Create Agentic AI Solutions by Using Azure AI Foundry. It's designed to help you make the most out of the latest agentic AI technologies with a curated self-paced training and learning milestones. You'll learn how to customize with RAG in Azure AI Foundry, Azure AI Foundry SDK, or Azure OpenAI in Foundry models to look for answers and documents and to help build these AI-driven agents. Wow, sounds like a very nice way to learn the different tools in Azure AI Foundry. Given the scope, are there any additional resources that you'd recommend for more depth? Yeah, we have something called Ragtime. It's a five-week learning journey, all to help you master rag. It's really comprehensive. You get leadership interviews, tech talks, hands-on demos, even doodle summaries that make complex concepts clear with lots of visual explanations. The full series is available on YouTube, and there's even a GitHub repo with step-by-step -step guides, live coding samples, and of course, expert insights. So you really get everything you need to go from beginner to rag pro. What I love about it is that you're learning directly from AI and Microsoft experts. You're getting the latest retrieval techniques, and you can follow along with the real code samples and implementations. This all sounds like an incredible amount of resources and bonus points for the Ragtime pun, by the way. Um, for anyone who is ready to jump in, we'll have links to both the Ragtime series and the Azure AI Foundry skilling plan in the description below. Farzad, Lena, this has been such a great conversation. Thank you again for joining me and for walking us through all of this incredible information. You really made Azure AI search and RAG easy to understand. Thanks for having me, Aaron. It was great to be here. And for our viewers, you can find the links to all of the resources we covered in today's episode in the description section below. Don't forget to leave your feedback in the comments, give our show a like and subscribe to the channel to get notified when new episodes drop. Thank you again for watching. We'll see you next time on the Out Here Central Show. Thank you.